The reason why it's crappy is because you're making financial projections and you have no idea of statistics or mathematics. You've never solved the quadratic. You want to make finance. Forget it. I don't. I'm speaking now. I see my professor side there. <laughs> so I usually ask them a simple question. And it came from what my sister said earlier on as we walked. I said, that's what I asked them. What data do you have? What information? Tell me about what, what, what data do you have? She mentioned an example which is about mental health. Yeah, mental health in, 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 in Uganda, right? Yeah. So you know, at lunch I said, uh, what do you know about mental health? What there are so many categories of mental health. Well, let me tell you something about mental health, which is what I tried to discuss with her. If you're going to do business around the area of mental health, the first thing is who's going to pay? You tell me who's going to pay about mental health? Is it the mental health patient? No. <laughs> the, mental health, the person who's going to receive your services, right, cannot afford to pay. So if the person cannot pay, guess who's going to pay? Government. Aha. Do you know whether there's a law that, that makes it impossible for government to even have the money? Forget the business. Are you following where I'm going? Yeah. These are very important things. So what data do you have? What data do you have? Stop asking, stop saying, oh, somebody provided, whether they provided the right data. Well, excuse me, if you don't know how to collect, you will never know how to interrogate what was collected. Okay. So it's very important that you start doing things like that. Um, do you have the entrepreneurial flair? I'm not going to say, are you an entrepreneur? No, no, no. Do you have, there's something called entrepreneurial flair? Can I write the word flair? F-L-A-I-R. Chooks, is that right? You still live in England. <laughs> this F L A I R. Check it out with your dictionaries. You know, you guys can Google so quickly. All of a sudden, instead of searching the dictionary, we now say Google. Is that how the world changes, right? As the world turns. We no longer say search for a word, we now say what? Google. Frightening. <laughs> and that's part of the problem I have. When I speak to young people, sometimes I start, yo. Do I have the right English? Can I say, you know, what has it, you know, can I move? Because all those moves speak to you. Yeah. Otherwise, I speak big English and I speak this dry. Do you have the entrepreneurial thing? Do you have what it takes? Are you the guy who just, you know, as soon as things happen, you're off on your tangent, very upset. You're not listening. Do you know how to schmooze? You know what I mean by schmoozing? <laughs> okay, I've used another big language. I can see my old boys shaking their heads and the little ones. <laughs> schmooze. Yeah? You guys call it being cool. You know, do you have, actually, you get it and you allow somebody to tell you about themselves, not about you telling them about you. And then, whilst they're telling you about themselves, you find out that there is actually a need. If we can, Dr. Mawoko, if we have another event, I would like to have two hours with some of these people so that I can actually do a few more. Because yeah. Yeah. Minutes, I have, you, know, and, you know, then I'll give you my bill as well. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try something today. <laughs> commercialization. Can I talk to commercialization now? I've just talked a little bit about innovation and innovation systems. Yeah. So on innovation, I said, you've got to create new value, right? Yes. And it must be at a price, but that price must motivate the enterprise. I'll show that very soon. You must know your network and how they're linked. Because that's where your complementary resources and assets come from. I know some of you were, when you were answering the question around innovation and newness and whatever, you said, oh, it's creating new products or new markets. You're reading me, Sean Peter and Michael Potter. Leave, leave, leave that thing. I'll tell you why. <laughs> because you cannot, if you, if you need to, depending on what you are trying to take to market, I'm moving now to commercialization. What is it that you're trying to commercialize, for example? Is it knowledge? So you can commercialize knowledge in its various forms. 